remainder theorem. The remainder theorem states that if we divide a polynomial f of x by a polynomial x minus a, we get a polynomial q of x and a remainder r. Therefore, f of x equals x minus a times q of x plus r, where q of x is a polynomial and r is the remainder. Using the function notation, if we substitute x with a, we get f of a equals open bracket a minus a close bracket times q of a plus r. a minus a equals zero. Therefore, f of a is equal to r. The remainder theorem simply states that when a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus a, then the remainder r is equal to the value f of a. Hence, if you would like to calculate only the remainder of polynomial division, there is no need to do long division. Just calculate f of a. Example 1. Finding the remainder using the remainder theorem. Find the remainder when f of x equals x cubed plus 3 times x squared plus 2 times x minus 1 is divided by x minus 1. Solution. To find the remainder when dividing by x minus 1, we know from the remainder theorem that we can substitute x with 1 in f of x and we'll find the value of r. Therefore, f of 1 equals 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 1, which is equal to 5. We didn't need long division to find the answer. Factor theorem. The factor theorem is a special case of the remainder theorem. If a polynomial f of x is divided by a polynomial g of x and the answer is q of x with the remainder r of x equal to zero, then we know that g of x is a factor of f of x. In other words, if the division results in a remainder equal to zero, then we have found a factor of f of x. The divisor is a factor of f of x. Knowing that x minus a is a factor is the same as saying x equals to a is the root of the equation. If f of a equals to zero, then x minus a is a factor of f of x and conversely, if x minus a is a factor of f of x, then f of a equals to zero. Example 2. Finding factors using the factor theorem. Show that g of x equals x minus 2 is a factor of f of x equals x cubed minus 5 times x plus 2. Solution. Recall. If f of a equals 0, then x minus a is a factor of f of x. So to show that x minus 2 is a factor of f of x, we need to show that f of 2 equals 0. Substitute x equals 2 into f of x. So, f of 2 equals 2 cubed minus 5 times 2 plus 2, which equals 8 minus 10 plus 2, which is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of f of 2 equals 0. In conclusion, g of x equals x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. Step 1. Find a factor of f of x equals x cubed minus 5 times x plus 2, which is equal to 0. To find a factor, we need to test the values of x equal to a, such as f of a equals 0. To shorten the time spent on working out the factor, only try values which are factors of the constant term, in this case, positive 2. So the factors are negative 1, positive 1, 
negative two and positive two. For x equals one, we get f of one equals one cubed minus five times one plus two, which equals negative two. Because the answer negative two is not equal to zero, therefore x minus one is not a factor of f of x. For x equals negative one, we obtain f of negative one equals negative one, all cubes, minus five negative one plus two, which equals six. Because the answer six is not equal to zero, Therefore, x plus 1 is not a factor of f of x. For x equals 2, we obtain f of 2 equals 2 cubed minus 5 times 2 plus 2, which equals 0. Because the answer is equal to 0, therefore x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. Step 2. Finish factorizing the same cubic polynomial f of x by using either inspection or synthetic division, having already found one of its factors, x minus 2. The term in x squared does not appear initially, therefore we put 0 as the coefficient of this term. Division by inspection. Write f of x in descending powers of x. In other words, f of x equals x cubed plus 0 times x squared minus 5 times x plus 2. Next, write f of x as a product of its factors. x cubed plus 0 times x squared minus 5 times x plus 2 equals x minus 2 bracketed times a quadratic polynomial bracketed. Since we have a cubic polynomial and the divisor is linear, the second bracket must be a quadratic polynomial because only x times x squared will give you a term in x cubed. Therefore, the second bracket must take the form of a times x squared plus k times x plus c. Finding the value of a and c are quite simple. x cubed plus 0 times x squared minus 5 times x plus 2 equals x minus 2 in brackets times a times x squared plus k times x plus c all in brackets. To find a, divide the first term of the cubic polynomial by the first term of the factor. Thus, a times x squared equals 1 times x cubed divided by 1 times x, which equals 1 times x squared. If we equate the coefficients of x squared, we find a equals 1. To find c, divide the constant term of the cubic polynomial by the constant term, including signs of the factor. For our example, Positive 2 divided by negative 2 equals negative 1. Therefore, c equals negative 1. Therefore, we have x cubed plus 0 times x squared minus 5 times x plus 2 equals x minus 2 in brackets times x squared plus k times x minus 1 all in brackets. To find k. We work towards the term with x squared in the cubic polynomial, in this case 0 times x squared. To get the term, we need to multiply the brackets out and add the terms containing x squared together. From the brackets, we multiply only x and k times x, which will give us k times x squared and we multiply negative 2 and x squared, which will give us negative 2 x squared. When we add the two like terms in x squared together, we must get 0 times x squared. So we get k times x squared minus 2 times x squared, which must equal to 0. Solve for k. 
kx squared equals 2x squared. Therefore, k equals 2. So our cubic polynomial can be factorized as follows. x minus 2 in brackets and x squared plus 2 times x minus 1 in brackets. To solve for x, we must completely factorize f of x. Hence, we need to factorize x squared plus 2 times x minus 1. We need to use the quadratic formula to factorize the quadratic trinomial, as there are no rational factors for this trinomial. Substituting a with positive 1, b with positive 2, and c with negative 1 in the quadratic formula, we will obtain two solutions. Firstly, x equals negative 1 plus the square root of 2. Secondly, x equals negative 1 minus the square root of 2. For our equation, x minus 2 in brackets times x squared plus 2 times x minus 1 all in brackets equals 0. We get three solutions or roots x equals 2 or x equals negative 1 plus the square root of 2 or x equals negative 1 minus the square root of 2. Example 3. Factorizing using division by inspection. Factorize and solve f of x equals x cubed minus 5 times x plus 2 equals to 0. Solution In general, to factorize a cubic polynomial, find the factor by trial and error. Only consider factors of the constant term as any other number will not work. Use the factor theorem to confirm that x equals a is a root by showing that f of a equals 0. Divide f of x by the factor to obtain a quadratic polynomial. Apply the standard methods of factorizing quadratic polynomials to determine the other two factors of the cubic polynomial. Example 4. Application to solve the cubic equations. In the diagram f of x equals x cubed and g of x equals negative 3 times x squared plus x plus 3, determine the x-coordinates of points a and b, which are the points of intersection of f and g. If it's further given that at point a, x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Solution to find the coordinates of points A and B, we know the graphs are equal at the intersection A and B. So to do this, we'll equate the equations of the two graphs. Therefore, x cubed equals negative 3x squared plus x plus 3. We move all the terms to one side and solve the equation x cubed plus 3 times x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. To solve the equation, we try to find one of the factors of minus 3 using trial method. So we try first when the factor is 1. Therefore, f of 1 equals 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared minus 1 minus 3. The answer is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 1 is a factor. To find the rest of the factors, factorize and solve using division by inspection or synthetic division. x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3 equals x minus 1 in brackets times x squared plus k times x plus 3 all in brackets. To find k, find the terms in x squared from the right-hand side of the equation, which will be negative x squared plus k times x squared. This will be equal to 3 times x squared. Therefore, k times x squared equals 4 times x squared. 
Therefore, by equating coefficients of x squared, we get k equals 4. So now we know if k is 4, our factors are x minus 1 and x squared plus 4 times x plus 3. We can factorize the trinomial factor x squared plus 4 times x plus 3 further as x plus 3 in brackets times x plus 1 in brackets. We now have fully factorized the cubic equation into three linear factors. We solve the equation x minus 1 in brackets times x plus 3 in brackets times x plus 1 in brackets equals 0. And we'll obtain the roots x equals negative 1 or x equals negative 3 or x equals positive 1 from the three values of x found. We need to consider the values of x which are greater than or equal to negative 2 but where x is only a negative value of point A. Negative 3 is not greater than or equal to negative 2. Therefore, x equals negative 1 at point A and x equals 1 at point B.